Well, Spellbinders did it. It is all their fault, or should I say their brilliant enabling that made me buy all the products I'm featuring in this video. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I fell in love with the new Sealed by Spellbinders products and have had so much fun playing and creating with wax seals. I, I had a package of wax seals and one wax stamp from years ago and after receiving some of the Sealed by Spellbinders dies, I pulled it out and had a play. And then, of course, I ordered some more of that release, as well as some more stamp seals, including Christmas ones, and I've had so much fun playing and designing. This card was made with foiled acetate and a pretty wax seal stamp from Spellbinders. Can you see that beautiful butterfly with the moon? And I added a couple gems there, and um, I created this pretty card. Now, of course, all the details on all the products, projects I show will be on my blog, and links to the blog post and products featured are in the description box. I got this pretty tree wax die stamp and decided to make four in different colors for each season um, for this card. So, winter, spring, summer, or fall, you've got a friend, just like the song. I, um, one of my previous videos featured the Kirigami dies from Anna Griffin, and I made one more oval one. And, um, there's the pretty patterned foil card there, and when you pull this up, isn't that pretty? There's a pretty wax seal in there and a um, die with a happy birthday wish. I just think those Kirigami dies are just gorgeous and decided to make one more card with those. There's a plain wax stamp. Um, I'm going to be using it later. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So you can see there's no pattern on there. And at first I wondered, well, why would you want that? But then I was watching videos and I saw that you could add um, gilding flakes like I did in this one with a technique that I showed a few weeks ago with embossing folders on the debossing side. Um, so you don't have to have a pattern in there. Um, you can add different things. Um, here's one that I did, again, with pretty foiled acetate and that is a rub on sticker in there so if you use the plain one then you can rub on stickers like those from 49 and market and then again I added some gems and pretty put a pretty die cut there and that makes a really lovely Christmas card if you don't have the right wax stamps when one I, what I would mean by that is these handles and then this is a um, wax stamp um, and of course uh, Spellbinders has them they're available all over the place I got a set of about six Christmas ones after I started playing and that's one of the things I'm going to show you um, is making some Christmas uh, wax seals but if you don't have the right one for what you want to use the wax seal for you can use your small stamps neither the rubber or the clear stamps were harmed when pushing them into the hot wax but this one I pushed a little too hard, but it was a happy mistake because when um, it cooled, I liked the result that you could see the paper through those hearts. These are new dies from Cat Scrappiness, and um, I wanted to make a uh, cute card for kids with the puppy and the, the background um, die there. And then this worked out perfectly. Um, those are actually little hearts that look like paw prints. So um, fun to do, um, even if you're just using regular stamps. Um, here's one I did with more of the new dies from Spellbinders and at that time I didn't have a snowflake uh, of the regular wax stamp so I just used a small regular rubber snowflake and made a pretty wax seal there um, with some punches and dies. So those are uh, what I did in one of my first sessions and um, 
I decided uh, to put most of my wax seals right on the cards and not on the envelopes as I didn't want to mess, quite frankly, with taking them to the post office for the non-machinable choice. I know you can, and but I think most of the time I will give the envelopes and person probably if I put a seal on the outside. But I did mail this one to a friend just to see how it would work um, if the wax seal on the inside would get ruined. I just put a very thin piece of cardboard in with it. I did put an extra stamp on it, but I expected that. You know, there is some dimension here. And this is another one that I made um, with that, that heart um, stamp, rubber stamp. These are dies from Spellbinders, um, and um, I uh, it wasn't harmed at all. So um, that is something to keep in mind. I um, love the darker colored um, beads. This is a set I got from Amazon a long time ago, and I hadn't really played with it. And there's lots of different colors in here, and I'm drawn to the dark ones. But what I found was the lighter colors work much better to be able to see whatever is stamped into the wax. So um, I have been mixing colors, and I like to mix like one or two of the darker with the lighter. Um, I'm going to show you. It's real easy to get like a marbled look. Um, so I mix several of the colors together. So let's make some let's make some wax seals. Um, what you need is some kind of silicone mat or you can use parchment paper. So and either one works. I tend to use both. Um, I just put this off to the side and you'll see me put the um, spoons on that um, when um, I'm not wanting to put them back in. I have uh, two of these uh, pots and they hold the spoon um, with the um, wax um, in it, um, wax seal beads, wax beads in it um, while they're being melted. I have two um, tea lights and um, obviously I have to have something to light them with. I'm just going to use matches. You don't need two of, you know, these things. Oops, uh, I might want to light this one too. Um, but um, I am going to keep uh, this moving along, hopefully. I hope this one's going to have a flame. We'll see. If not... I think it's pretty much, are you going to flame? Nope. I'll get another one. I guess that one was used. No, I lost my matches. They're probably, oh, there they are. Okay. I was going to try to have two going at once to be able to show you. So um, that one I got, uh, both of these I got off of Amazon in various kits. These are the spoons that you're going to put your um, wax beads in. Um, I have chosen my colors. I, uh, for the first one, I'm going to do blues, a dark blue, and a silver. Um, what else did I wanted to tell you? I, I always have toothpicks on hand. I don't stir it too much. At first I was doing that, but when I did, the colors just mixed. And I'll show you if you put different colors in, um, if you don't stir it too much, you will get that marbling look. Okay, and then you need your um, wax stamps, which are ready here. I'm going to start with my snowflake, and I think we're good. Okay, so if they get overdone, they um, will bubble, and that's not good. So we're going to watch them. And be ready. 
so um, I think I'm pretty well set um, while I'm waiting for those to dry to to melt I'll show you a few um, again I decided not to put too many on envelopes but I made a lot of cards and I made a lot of tags and I'm going to have gifts uh, of tags and seals um, so here's one I made with some pretty bells this one has a reindeer in there um, with a snowflake. Here's a pretty one with some patterned paper and a Merry Christmas to get them to stand out. And I'll show that a little later. Um, you can use Sharpie metallic pens. Other metallic pens work just fine. Um, but I found my Sharpies work the best. And we're watching these as they melt. Um, you can tell that they're not done yet because you can still see the shapes. Here's another tag I made with the pretty snowflake. Um, that is one of my favorites and I found I didn't need to color it to be able to tell. I'm going to hope that's on the camera, um, that it is a snowflake. This one was kind of just a happy mistake. That lump there in the middle didn't turn out like I wanted it to. One of the ladies said that she was doing, uh, what was the word, kind of an uh, all natural without the edge on it and I thought I would try it but I didn't really care for it but I put it together with one and put a snowflake on top and it's a really pretty tag okay these are getting there so I better pay attention okay so you can see that the blue is over on this part and the silver is in that part so I am going to take it now and I'm going to dump it and we're trying to form a circle more or less and then we take our wax stamp and you press it in there softly you don't have to push hard and you're trying to get an edge on all sides okay this looks like this is right well let's see here And can you see that marbling in there, that mix of colors of the red and the gold there is so pretty. I usually set these over here on that. And then I am going to do a reindeer. Now you have to let that sit for just um, a few minutes. But um, one, another thing you want to have ready is some paper towel. And when you want to change colors, you're going to just, and now this is very hot, so you want to be careful. So I use like a double layer there of a paper towel inside there. Now if, it, if it's too hard to get out, if you let it dry a little while, just reheat it a little bit, and then um, you can use paper towel to clean that out. Now I am going to, on this one, stick with the same colors. So I have some more red and some more gold. I wanted them both on the same side. Let's see if I can move that over. There we go. So I also want to do a tree and a Merry Christmas. So let's put our, and this one I have a couple different shades of green and a couple golds. So I have um, one more tag to show you. Um, it has that pretty Christmas tree. I did um, color it with the gold so that it stands out a little more and it has that mix of the golds and the greens in there 
And then I wanted to show you an idea that I had that I am going to make up little gift bags for some ladies that I play cards with. And I'm giving them some of those gift tags with the um, wax seals right on there. And then I'm giving them some that are separate. And what I do is on each one of them, um, I saw some people that were selling these round um, attachers, I guess. And I just punched my own. I had a one inch punch. I punched a bunch of two-sided sticky paper and um, I put them on the back of all of them. I like to make them in advance um, and I put them on the back and the ladies could choose to put this on an envelope or a card. That one happens to have a pretty cross on it and um, there's some Christmas ones so they're going to get some Christmas tags and some um, wax seals for a little gift and I think they're going to like that. So after this, see that came right off and there is our beautiful wax seal um, with the snowflake. And I better keep an eye on that. But this one I'll need to put some... Um, uh, mark sharpie on it and I'll show you um, how that makes a difference there but I better I if you if they get to bubbling that's too much and of course it's kind of hard here to talk and show and keep my eyes on it but this one I want a Merry Christmas I hope I'm not off camera and this one Now, if they're not a very good shape, if they're not going to go into a circle, um, all you can do is do your... Ah! I touched that. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Okay. This is my tree. But before I do that, I wanted to... to um, I have some um, gilding flakes that I wanted to add just for something to make it a little interesting. Now, let's see if we can get this to go in a circle. If you maneuver it a little bit, you usually can. But if that, um, if it doesn't work and you just really hate the shape and it's not always going to be a perfect circle and I decided in most cases I don't really care, but if it's, if it's just ugly or you really don't like it, um, you can, and I'll show you that in a minute, you can just cut them up and, and to force. Don't throw them away. Cut them up and put them back in and melt them again. So, while we're waiting for those, I will sw whoop, switch these out. I'm going to switch colors. And switch my theme away from but in the meantime, I have this um, plate here. Um, that's where I got those um, gilding flakes from. These are a few pieces of ones that um, I didn't really like. So I am going to remelt them. Then I also have some... Um, flowers, dried flowers, and we're going to put that in um, one of the ones coming up. But I think um, so that I can make sure <laughs> I don't um, overdo anything. So you, you pull it up and if it doesn't want to come, then just let it uh, wait another minute. Um, I'll put some color on that um, in a minute. It's very pretty, but you can't really see what it says until I add some Sharpie to that. So this one has the um, gilding flakes on to give it a little color. Um, but And the shape turned out okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get rid of that one. A 
it's not quite ready. Let me show you. This is the um, a one inch um, punch um, of Su Quang two sided sticky paper. And I just take the side off of one. We'll see if we can do that with my nails. I may need to use a stick pokey. It's starting to come, I can tell. All right, so you lift the side off of one. This is sticky. And then um, we put it on the back. And then whenever I'm ready to use it, um, I better get this before it gets too hot. So that was just taking pieces that I didn't um, really care for, and I think I'll make another Christmas tree. And then carefully clean this out, remembering that it is hot. Because now we're going to switch colors. So I um, want to make a um, elegant wedding card, and my colors are gold and black. So um, I am going to make some hearts and um, also some blank ones with some flowers. So let's see if this one is ready to come. Now we'll keep an eye on those, but in the meantime, there's another pretty Christmas tree. If I take a gold Sharpie and just rub it over the top, or silver, or bronze, but just add a little color to the design. It makes it stand out just enough that you can see that that's a Christmas tree. Let's try the gold on the Merry Christmas, which is really hard to read unless you do add a little color. So you can just follow the pattern rub over the top and I would take a little more time with that but that's Merry Christmas I gotta keep an eye on these they're okay this one's going a little faster that one's almost ready now yeah, that's quite a bit <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do a heart. And again, you know, if don't get discouraged if it's not a good circle. You can just cut it up and do it again or try again. Um, that one doesn't look like it may. I'm not sure if I can if I can get that to have a lip on all four sides, maybe. Not too bad. It's not quite ready, but it's close. <clears throat> and I don't want it to get overdone. I'm using two different shades of gold, but I want it to be um, pretty, pretty light, you know, not, not real dark but I'd like to have them if you keep your two separate colors somewhat separate you do get better marbling
All right, so I'm going to take um, some dried flowers. And oh, I had another green leaf. No. Oh, we'll put that one there. And then I'm taking a blank one. I don't know if I'm going to. And again, if you don't like the shape, don't get too worried about it. Um, let's see. I think I might want to do one more. So again, a couple lighter golds and a little bit darker gold. It's quite fun and addictive um, to be playing with these. And I think um, you can kind of become like a mad scientist and try all different colors and try adding different things. You know, you have the dried flowers or glitter will work. And of course, um, just using your uh, wax stamps. Uh, and they just um, are a lot of fun. Did I not just see that? No. Okay. That one's just about ready. Let's see if I can take this one off. I don't love the shape necessarily, but it's okay. And that's a beautiful heart on there. I'll add a little a bit of the Sharpie color. Make one more heart. And um, again, that isn't a very good lip. This one I think I probably would cut up and try again. Um, or, you know, it, especially if it's for a fancy wedding card, um, I uh, would like to be able to have a little bit better shape than that. But that's okay. Um, I'm not worried about it. Um, Okay. Sorry about that. I when I went to blow that out, I knocked the camera. <laughs> so clean this one out. not quite ready. Yeah, we're going to make one more blank one. And I will have enough for my wedding card. some of the dried flowers. Oh, we'll see if we can do this. Okay, get off. Maybe I can't. <laughs> Well, we better get our stamp here. Some of you think you're not going to like, and then you end up, you do like them. And, you know, it's, um, it's not a big deal. You can just play some more. Just going to move these out of the way here. <clears throat> While we're waiting for that one to dry, um, I'm going to just add a little oh my goodness it really is off camera now isn't it sorry guys i hope it isn't 
too much. Uh, so if you just rub a bronze or gold or silver metallic pen over the image, then it stands out much more. And our hearts, I think I will use a gold. it the heart becomes just a little more visible so that's the one that I added some um, dried flowers too. Um, again, not real happy with how that one turned out, but that's okay. Um, I have some that are, are better, um, and um, I would just keep experimenting with that. Um, this heart one turned out about, just about perfect, I think. And so um, I would add, should we try bronze on this one? I think I used gold on the other one, so I better use the same color. I have a string hanging on me. Okay. So, just rubbing some gold marker over the heart, just to make it stand out a little more. So, that's one of the ones we made. I'm going to take a um, two-sided sticky paper sticker and remove one of the sides and put it on the back and that one is ready to go. So, um, I saw an idea um, that uh, Loretta Madsen had where she put a mini envelope on the front of a card and sealed it with a pretty wax seal after putting a gift card in it. I love to give gift cards, so I created an envelope with my mini envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, and I used a gorgeous sealed twine die from sealed by spellbinders to hold the envelope in but it will slide out and there is a gift card inside there and then um, I have one of these that I made it is a Christmas tree but it's one where I added the gilded flakes so it's got a lot of pretty color in there and the marbling besides and again we're gonna try to <laughs> get this off with my nails it isn't hard to do. Okay, so now it is um, very, very sticky, and I am just going to add it to this card. And I'll probably give this in person, but if I did mail it again, I would just put a thin piece of cardboard over that, and it would probably would take an extra stamp because it is thicker, of course. But um, there is a really pretty idea to do with our seals. I have one more idea to show you. I have been um, wanting to try a slim lined diamond fold Z fold card that I learned from Karen Aiken. I need an elegant wedding card, and I think these wax seals are just what I need to make it very special. So 
um, I have, according to her instructions, I'll show you the template first. We're going to start with a piece of cardstock 8 by 8.5. Eight and, and we're going to score it at 2 and 4 inches. Okay, so I've done that. I have um, a piece of cardstock 8.5 by 8 scored at 2 and um, four and of course you just make a regular card and then you fold it back now I'm using um, on this card some um, very pretty specialty card from um, Tonic Studios and Craft Perfect um, I got this whole pack this is the Cosmic Vista um, that has sparkles of gold this has some gold hearts and then this is what I made the card base with, which is called Snowbound. But it's a luxury card, um, very pretty for a wedding card. So um, on the original, um, Karen showed how you take two two and three quarter inch squares and of course you make them in the diamond orientation and you put the, them on the front of the card. Um, I marked the center here and so I knew where to put those and of course you can layer on there and then on the inside um, I'll show you how to make this pop-up feature um, and she used a two and a half inch square on that one um, I am going to, to use hearts at least that's the idea that I have well so we'll see if um, that works so um, this is the pop-up piece and um, It is four by three, and you score it at one, two, and three, and you fold it, and then you fold it again. And then you're going to put adhesive on the two end pieces. And um, I marked the center of the card there. You're going to take this and just lay it flat right in the scored center. Then you take the adhesive topping off that piece and you lay this flat on there. And you have your little pop-up box. Okay. So what I decided to do was um, I have a Mr. and Mrs. Heart die that I cut out of that pretty tonic paper. And then I have um, one of the diamond shapes that um, we're go was going to go there. And I thought that I was going to put it about there. And then um, I have the word forever, um, which is a Gina K design. It's uh, layered on, on vellum. And I have some wax seals ready to go. I think I'll use the one that we made today. It turned out pretty perfect. And one of these other ones we'll see. Um, so we're going to attach these, but I think I might put this on first. This one is going to go in here, and I want to get that centered. And you want glue on this side only. And it's, this one is going to be on the pop-up box. And okay, and then I want this, and once again, glue on this side only.
and then Mr. and Mrs. there with glue on this half only. This Mr. and Mrs. is an older die from Tonic Studios that I still love. So you can see how this is coming together. Um, it is going to be a slimline card and um, open up like that with that heart popping up. But now let's add our very special wax seals. And forever, Mr. and Mrs. Forever. Trying to just kind of aim at the words there with the glue. I kind of missed, but I think it will dry clear. And then we just take the top off that sticky circle and put a wax seal on there. I was going to use one of the flowers, wasn't I? Well, that's okay. I have extra choices. Um, but in the meantime, we have Mr. and Mrs. Forever um, with uh, a fun fold that, of course, will stand up and a couple pretty wax seals on there. Um, I made an envelope to put it in. Uh, with a dies to die for slimline envelope die. Um, I um, didn't have one that would match this at all and so it's nice when you can make your own and when I put it together I will put a matching uh, wax seal to seal that and again I can put it on anytime I want. Maybe I want another heart to match the ones I put on there and um, that will be what I give it in. Um, I have one other day idea I wanted to share with you quickly. Um, these are also perfect for decorating um, Christmas presents or any type of present. You can put it on a tag and make a very fancy um, presentation or you could put it right on the gift itself. So I had great fun uh, making all of these as you can see and I hope my projects inspire you to give some of these ideas and products a try. Watch the next video for some more technique card making ideas and then send some of your handmade joy out into the world.